so. Flower. Okay, she dropped it. <laughs> we don't need that where we're going. No it way. fits, son. Snap, snap. Got a chuck. <laughs> oh, gag. Steam train. Hold the line. Well, snap. No way. <laughs> Shoot for <laughs> Oh, wow. Shake it, baby. Shake it. Oh, whoa, what's that? Drop it. Drop it. Ellie, no. Is it okay? Don't bust your butt. It's a fire over there. There's a car on fire out here. <laughs> toot, toot. <laughs> Where have you There's been? No oh! True American hero. Oh, oh wow. Knee slappers. Golly. Oh no! <laughs> well, I'm on a gas tank. What could go wrong? <laughs> Hope for the best. It appeared to me in a dream. Look at these little critters. Wawa's a single mother now. Dad knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Broke off the frame. Rust in your crack. Contents under pressure. Woo! Hey! Let's see if Mike's home. This ain't good. It's not always a fairy tale. When good pets go bad. <laughs> hey, baby. Let's see if we can get this thing in the shop with no brakes. Can I even start it without brakes? Sketch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't even have a brick to throw in front of it. We'll just use the clutch. It ain't easy driving them with no brakes. Manual transmission helps. Yeah, who needs brakes when you got a clutch? Hmm. There goes my ears. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with the 64 Galaxy Country Sedan Wagon. We've had this thing now for a couple years. If you watched the last video, we finally got it running. It's a hog leg as you just saw with us pulling it in. We have about killed ourselves several times with this car from trying to move it. It rolling off on us and stuff. I mean, mom's been running with a block trying to stop it and everything. <laughs> So we are finally going to try to get brakes on this thing. And I thought I had everything ready and I found out just a minute ago that I didn't even order brake shoes. So just ordered the brake shoes on the phone from O'Reilly's and they're supposed to be here tomorrow. So we should be good to go. I can't find drums for this thing anywhere. So we're going to try to make the drums we got work, clean them up ourselves around here on a budget. But we got all our new brake stuff here. Hopefully it's correct. We got some mufflers to put on it. Don't worry, we're gonna keep it loud. Just tame it down just enough so the neighbors don't call the cops. Again. Yes. We tried to get a new gas tank for it because our filler neck is broke off of it, but can't get one. So we're gonna try our best to fix that one. A fan sent us cleaning materials to clean it and seal it. So we're gonna try to clean it, weld a new neck on it, try to find a coupler for it, and seal that thing up and reuse it. We got some hooker mufflers here. And the kids have not even seen this, but we have some brand new rocket racing hoops for this thing. They haven't even seen it, so we're gonna let them see it as you guys see it right here. Since this is the dragon wagon, we gotta go with bigs and skinnies. For the front, we got these. So these are rocket racing, they're called launchers. This is a 15 by four and a half. It's got a 185, 65, 15 casing on it. Yeah, so, we got we'll, a launcher. Once we get the brakes and stuff on this thing, we're gonna do that. For the back, we got some 15 by eights here and they are called injectors. So, Bam. old slotted mag look. This is a 255, 60 casing. 
I mean, all the rubber. Look at that, son. Wow. Can you believe that? It's beautiful. So we are super excited to see what this looks like. But first things first, let's get started on these brakes. What you doing, Flower? Hi. 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 She's a good baby. That's a really sweet girl. Yeah. We've never looked this thing from the bottom. Let's oh, see we might not want to look. Well, we know the floors are rough. We know we got to put floors in still. Oh. <laughs> got you. Then it kind of yeah. looks like this. Well, I'll be happy to get these ugly pizza cutters off here. If you watch our videos forever, about two years ago, we pulled all the brake shoes and hardware out of this thing, which now I'm a little bit scared about because we can't find a hardware kit anywhere or a self-adjuster kit. So I have the ultrasonic cleaner full of old rusty hardware that we and took off this thing two years ago. Of other springs. We got a whole box full of old hardware for other stuff. So hopefully we can piece together enough stuff to get these brakes going. Only thing I'm really worried about is a self-adjuster cable. I don't think we have them, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Same thing back here. All these brakes have been torn apart. <laughs> Look how they got the helper springs, but the reason why I've got new shocks to the back is this one is totally missing, so we're going to have to put a brand new one on there. All right, let's jerk the hoops off this thing. I love that jack. Speeds it up a bunch. This thing has had import car donut on it for way too long. Donut? That's what they call them, donut, like a donut spare. Oh. Not a donut torque converter, I forgot. Sorry, mm -hmm. I didn't mean to confuse you. Like, what are you talking about? That ain't the donut. Look, they're so nosy. <laughs> We're getting braver. How they come in? Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. You think me cutting a donut last time did it? Probably. We broke our back spring hanger. I'm gonna have to weld that back on oh, the frame. Oh no. Hey, rear is just barely in Yeah, it, it is. We'll have to put these on something else. These came off of the 83 LTD wagon that was twin turbo LS swap. I wondered if it came on this car, I can't remember. I bought these m and Race Masters brand new, and this is what we raced the LTD with. Oh and my, they're old. <laughs> For a little bit, they were actually on the Starlet. I don't think we ever raced the Starlet with these on it, though. Man, I miss it. Let me show you what this hardware looks like, because, like I said, I've not found anywhere to buy it. This is what the hardware looked like when we started, just to give you an idea. But I've let it cook in here for about an hour. Can you believe this ultrasonic cleaner we got? So, Vivor saw that we didn't have a big ultrasonic cleaner big enough to fit like a full carburetor in. So, they sent one to us. So, if you use code VVCELL5, you can get 5% off yours. We really appreciate them sending that to us. Oh, wow, look. Look how it looks like bare metal. Some of it does, at least. And I'm telling you, this is what this stuff looked like before. Oh, wow. man. It's crazy how this works. Look, let's compare these two. That's like a before and after there. What? I don't know how it works. Ralphie says it's scrubbing bubbles is how it works. <laughs> but look at that. Bubbles. It looks like brand new metal, a lot of this does. We got some other stuff too, just spare parts down this other ultrasonic cleaner, and we'll be using them as well. Well, Wall wants to take this off, so I guess I'm gonna stand back and watch. Ooh, a little wiggly, huh? Yeah. This thing was so stuck. We took our two-end tractor to go pick it up, remember? Mm -hmm. And we were doing wheelies trying to pull this thing out and it would not move because all four hoops were completely locked up on it. This thing would not roll. I feel like I spent a whole day trying to get these drums off before. Wiggle the drum and that'll come out a little bit. Okay, she dropped it. No, it Did you catch it before yeah, it got I, there? I caught nah, it. save. Now you should be able to take the drum off. So, as you can see, we got some really rusty drums. Everything's already gone as far as our brake hardware and shoes, but we still gotta get the wheel cylinder off here and the hose off here. So these are 11 by three inch brakes in the front, and the backs back here are 11 by two and a half, I believe. Yeah, these are a little bit more narrow than the other ones are. They don't look grooved, they're just so rusty. Cobwebs in here. We're missing one stud, but there's a lot of cars that are four lug. It'll probably be fine. Yeah. So it's got a little locking tab on the top of there that Wawa is getting back out of the way here. Uh, Give it a big one. Well, I don't yeah, want to. Don't be scared. <laughs> Go for it. This ain't working. You got this. 
That right, should is that be up? good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're not trying to break oh, it off. Yeah, we're just trying to bend it up out of the way. And we can go ahead and cut the brake hoses because we don't need that where we're going. It fits. Ain't no it way. fits. Son. No. Is it? Is it right? Son? Yeah. That looks too big. No, it's not. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Right. He's dead on. Give it the old snap snap. I'm so short. He put this up a little bit high for us, didn't he? That's fine, good. Mm. Hello. Mm. I can't. I really can't. All right. <laughs> Watch this, you ready? Yeah, it's incredible. Here, wait, wait. let me turn my bottom. It's crunchy on the inside. It starts going and it just stops. Yeah, you can. Okay, y'all be your mom. Watch out. It's done. It's hard. Mm-hmm. What in the Sam Hill? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't get it. It's a chunk. Mm. That's incredible. Woo! Woo! She got fluid in her. Mm. Mom, you did an excellent job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Because I couldn't do it. It was hard to do, for sure. Swelled almost well, shut. You did not give it the test. Barely. Go wash your mouth. Oh my gosh, you'll wash. Look what he just put his mouth on. Oh, gag, Ralph. Look like you've been kissing that steam train. Is that, is that steam <laughs> there? Since I have extensive experience with having brake lines break off on me, I'm just going to go ahead and preheat these because they pretty much always snap off. If I didn't tell you already, this thing sat in a junkyard for like 30 years with the spark plugs out of it, windows down. So we saved this thing from rusting away outside. We actually bought, I think, nine vehicles from the same guy. This was one of the ones we decided to keep along with the Falcon and the Turbo Coupe. And the other Turbo Coupe. Yeah. Will it break loose now, you think? Without snapping the line? It would surprise me if I don't have to remake every line in this thing. The nut broke loose. It's not loose from the line. Let me get something to hold the line. Hold the line! All right, General. Your only chance here is to try to hold it without kinking it. You may be able to get it to break loose, but it depends on the condition. I, I'm very doubtful on this one. You're always doubtful. Negative Nancy over here. I true. think I've already twisted it off. Probably. Oh, now you're the negative Nancy, sounds like. What am I? I'm not negative all the time. Positive heat. Yeah, I see it twisting it off. Oh well, we tried. We're gonna have to make that line. Well, snap. Literally. Yes, literally, snap. It's still stuck on there. Even though the bolts are out. Look, it's Mickey Mouse. Look at him. More of the same here. See if these wheel cylinders are correct. Looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah, these two look the same. Oh, she's smoking. Well, I'm already gonna have to remake this line, so it don't matter much now, does it? Nah. <clears throat> Righty tidy, lefty loosey. <laughs> Is it going the way the clock goes? No. So that's loose and the clock goes tighten. What? Oh my gosh. No way. You're Actually, getting three eggs no zoom. No way. I've been trying to tell you this, you don't listen. Counterclockwise is left. So if it goes the way the clock goes, then, it's the, clockwise, which is, then that that's tightened. Just like we talked hey, about. Look, you guys look. seen ear, she's finally learned. So, she's finally learned. This is going this way. I don't get it out now. You so, should have done told me this earlier. That's loosening. I won't mm. forget it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, will. you think she will? Yeah. Oh, that one just kinked off too. What a deal. We're making all new lines for this one, looks like. How's it going? It's very tight. Um, It's going to slide off and your hand's going to get hurt. Ow. <sighs> I know, it's horrible. <laughs> it's tighter than Dick's hat band. This is our first line that hasn't broke off. Who? there surprisingly our brake hose for the rear is correct can you believe that wrong auto did us right they did us right on this one both our rear wheel cylinders look correct as well so we're starting off pretty good there's your helper he's a good brake line maker right there <laughs> you gonna help us don't you like it you was a baby when we got it 
My, how your horns have grown. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't realize that we had not took the stuff off this side. Well, at least that gives us something to go off of. We'll go ahead and do the other side when the shoes come in, and that'll give us a guide to go off of. Well, now I'm curious if this one has shoes on it still. We got too many projects around here to keep up with what we did and what we didn't do. I've definitely been into this one because there's no cotter pin. <laughs> no, it don't have nothing. No. Is this what you've been trying to take loose? Yes. Hey, that's not what we're taking loose. We're what taking loose? the brake hose off of the wheel cylinder right here. Well, there's what we're trying to take You're off. You're trying to take the spindle nut off of there. The shoe far. She's on there good. I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it was tight. I bet it really is a 5.8. I thought he was going to say it was tight. I did too. Yeah, I thought he was going to be like, you're tightening this, Dennis. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I done walked over with a hammer three or four times. All right, this is it. <laughs> and it is a 5.8, like I was thinking I thought it was. You should have told me exactly where it was. Good. You know See? she's blonde on well, the inside. Yeah. When you cut the line like that, it allows you to put a socket on it like this. Yeah, we're good. Well, it looks like we have the correct line up here, too. I think we're good to go. Let's put this back on here. The only problem is none of these hoses came with new copper washers, so we're having to what? reuse old ones. They cheaped out on us there, they didn't they? They chipped us. They did. How come everything you have is spotted, Todd? I have a thing for spotted animals. I'm surprised I'm going to spot it up. Just down. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, okay. We're gonna move on to our gas tank now. Like I said, unfortunately, nobody sells this gas tank. You can buy one for a Galaxy like coupe or sedan, and I did. It came in wrong, so I had to send it back, even though it said it would fit a wagon. So what we have here, we were sent this by a fan. I believe it was Wayne from Thrift Tea Paint and Body in Wyoming. I feel like that's the name. I know they have sent us quite a few things. They have. So we really appreciate it. It's a three-step process. You mix this with hot water one-to-one. -one, so it makes a gallon of this. And you put it in the tank, shake it around. And then you let that completely dry. And then you pour this stuff in straight and slosh it around for a while. And after that dries... You pour this in, and this has to dry for four days. So we probably won't get all the way done in this video, but at least we'll see the process. Here's your pry bar, honey. Here. Oh, what is your deal? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Been a guard with that. So this still had old gas in it, like whatever it was, a month ago or whatever. And we got it out of there, and this is what has dried in there. And our biggest problem with this tank is right here. So I'm gonna have to remake this and weld a new one on there once we clean this thing out. All that is, is like old gas residue. Oh, there's some more. Ooh. Oh my Lord. Shake it, baby, shake it. It's just old gas, I think. Oh, yeah, it's like... oh yeah, she's coming out. A bunch. Ooh. Whoa, what's that? That's like a something. That might be the float. Yep, that's a float. Yeah, because the float didn't come out with the old sending unit. And we had to buy a sending unit for a sedan as well. I'm honestly surprised this tank is even close to being usable. Hey, Doing the rain dance there? Yeah. I don't see any other big chunks in there. It's right there on the inside. Oh. You can grab it. There you go. Oh, that's the sock. That's what I was seeing. So that's like the filter, the pre-filter on the there. Was that in there? Yes, That's it gravel. Was. How many fuel filters would that have stopped up? Oh, and Lord, all of them. Scooter, get over here. Oh, he's in trouble, isn't he? You better get yourself down this driveway right now. Why does he want to go to the other driveway? I don't know. That's the only place that dog wants to go. Yeah. Get back in his house. What are you doing? You're not supposed to go out the driveway. Use your brain. I think that's yeah. the most trash we took out of the tank. That's yeah, crazy. that's a lot. We're going to do a lot of work to this tank to make it worthwhile. So since this one is so nasty, we're gonna rinse it out with cold water first just to get the big chunks. Out. Well, it's clearer than what I thought. I'm just gonna say. Yeah, it surprised me. Ooh, I feel it though, look. Ooh. Right inside there. You got it right there, see? And that's enough to ruin it right there, you know? Spray down in there, Walt. Oh yeah, look at all those chunks. 
I was stalking a victim. Oh. oh my gosh, what has she got now? Drop it, drop it, drop it. Is it kitty kitty? Where's she at? Right here. Get her. I can't. No, Ellie. Hey, it's, hey, it's, it's Ryan. It's going, it's a Kitty, 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 kitty. Ellie, Ellie. Eleanor, no. Ellie, Ellie no. Ellie. Got it? Uh, okay, let me see it. Can't get a hold of it? Is it okay? I think his legs hurt. Let's mommy see it. Come here. It looked like it was limping oh, on his left front. Yes. I'm sorry. Poor thing. I thought it was a big rat. Is it okay? okay? How did the cat get she's that? Bit it. She's a killer. She's a serious killer. I just got a bird out of her mouth the other day. Poor Bun Bun. I'm sorry, Bun Bun. Dumper. We'll put you back out wherever you came from. Oh my gosh. Where's she getting from you, Ryan? Man, we did a great job running that thing down. I'll just save myself. <laughs> it went through my legs. <laughs> Rocky, you are no help at all catching a rabbit. Well, at least we saved it from no, the clutches of death there. I couldn't even see its head. Look at her. It's a good thing Jamal wasn't that's, out here. That's why I thought it was a rat. I couldn't see its head. Granny is on my plant. She's eating your ferns. Look at her. Look, Granny has found Mama's ferns and is eating I them. I can't have nothing around here. I heard its little leg. Can we keep it? I can't keep wild rabbits. They don't go so well. There you go, buddy. You better hide. There he goes. Mama's gonna bust your butt. What are you doing? You're gonna be in so much trouble, Gran. Looks like Oreo milk or something. Yeah, it looks like Oreo milk. It's just sudsy. Uh. I think we got about all we can get out of there. I'm trying to get it cleaned up good enough around these two holes to where we can duct tape this shut and put the cleaner in there. We're gonna have to let this dry to where we can tape it up and put this cleaner in it. I think it, it's a fire over there. Well, let's go. Okay. We need to get your car. We think there's a car on fire out here in the road. We just saw smoke and heard something. So we grabbed every fire extinguisher we're headed that way. Is it on fire? That's Franklin's on Is fire. Is it on fire, Frank? Yeah. All right. Come on. You saw a fire? Not up nothing, really. Good? Okay, you want to try to get it? We thought we heard it was on fire. So he just bought the truck and it started catching on fire with it, blowing fluid out, so. Luckily, he got it put out there with our, our extinguisher. That's crazy. We heard it from the shop. She's still sucking. What in the world? I can't do no more excitement today. So I, I was in the shop. I didn't hear it. But Tosh heard it coming down the road. And off. It, it was I. loud. It and then it was parked. We've saved a rabbit from the clinch. Within 30 minutes. <laughs> and we've saved the burning truck. This too much. I'm ready to go bed. Yeah. <laughs> you think this line's going to break loose all right? No. Maybe it was encapsulated and that's what kept it. Oh, yeah. This little butane torch has done good, hasn't it? It works yeah. great for stuff like this. But it's making little smoke rings and bubbles and stuff coming out. Oh, okay. <laughs> look, look, look at that. <laughs> toot, toot. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> little engine up here. catching her on fire. Oh, look at that. Broke loose. Things are looking up. We're not hooking up our new hoses yet because I like to run the fluid out of these old lines before you hook them up or you're just putting dirt right back in your new hoses and wheel cylinders, which could stop them up as well. It done too late. Sleeper dude done put her out. <laughs> You're such a dingo. Dad, come here. Yeah, uh, this one broke loose too. We're good. Yay. Yeah. That's incredible, son. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> What's name? his name? Bobby. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it's like Mormon. Fire department's out. They're like, well, sleeper dude done got it. Too far, she'd done burn to the ground if we'd have waited on that, huh? Exactly. I don't think he had insurance on her, so good deed done. Who needs insurance when you got keys? So mom has basically shamed me into trying to get these drums turned and doing it the right way. You're welcome, guys. That's $120 I didn't have. Can you believe it cost that to get four of them turned? Oh, look at your boy. Here he comes. 
Oh, well, look, where have you no been? Telling what he's look how big he is. He's doubled in size. Oh you know. my heavens. How does he eat that much? Look. We also need to get a couple things to make our exhaust. I believe we're just gonna go to O'Reilly's and get these drums turned, do it the right way, I guess. We need to get a brake lathe. It'd be nice to have a brake lathe here. Oh, no. He, look, he's gonna lick the grease, you know it. He loves actual grease. I'm Before we leave, I'm gonna put another batch of rusty hardware. This is not off this car. This is random hardware I've saved over the years. Let that cook while we're going. Oh, 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 even if they're too thin or grooved, I can't buy any, so we need them turned. So hopefully they'll help me out with that. We got our exhaust stuff. Hey, we can adjust them. Exactly. Thing. Unfortunately, one set of brake shoes was supposed to already be there, and they said it's supposed to be there, but it's not. So we're gonna come back tomorrow, they order another set, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo Shoe whoop. Shut off there, sir. Shut off. Shoo. All right, we're back, it's the next day. This is dried out and we're gonna put our first uh, step, our cleaning. It says to duct tape up all this. It's not gonna slip that great though. There's just no way. So you're supposed to mix this stuff one-to-one -one with hot water. This is supposed to work magic, apparently. I'm gonna try not to get the tank wet here. Don't drink it, Scooty. So now we've got to cap this off and shake it around there and let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. So you're supposed to coat the entire inside with this. Let's flip it all the way over, ready? This way. Is it actually sealing up? It's not leaking out of the tape. I figured it'd leak. It's duct tape. What are you talking about? I still can't believe this tank actually holds. I'm surprised it didn't have pinholes all in it. It says to let it soak for 30 minutes to an hour, so we'll just leave it like that. Most of the sediment's going to be in the bottom, so I'll leave it sitting in this direction. We're going to continue with what brake work we can do. I want to go ahead and swap out the master cylinder, and you're going to be proud of me. I'm actually going from a single pot master cylinder to a dual reservoir. I think this is for like a 66 or 67 Galaxy with manual drum brakes. Hopefully, this guy right here is gonna work for us. Came with a push rod and I had to go through all my fittings yesterday. Because a lot of times you get stuck right here with these crazy fittings because these are hard to find. But I did have some, so I think we're going to be okay. We're just going to have to replumb the way this works since it has two lines instead of one now. I also got a new alternator bracket so we can do that hopefully as well. I got this off eBay. You know, it was the cheapest one. Looks like it's going to work. I think the alternator actually swings downward with this kit. We got to bolt that up at some point. You know the deal. It's going to come off there. Be nice to finally have some brakes in this thing not try to kill us every time we move it it looks like it has the same flange you can see our piston is stuck down that's why we have no pedal and no brakes but it does have a nice lid that opens here's the advantages of going from this to this i think it was before like 1966 or something pretty much every car on the road has single reservoir master cylinder so if anything happens from this point all the way through all four hoops all the way back to your rear brakes and everything you lose all your brakes with a dual reservoir like this this reservoir in here is split in half. What this does is, if something fails on this side, you still have this, or if something fails on that, you still have this. So it's a safety feature. It's a good upgrade if you're going to do an old car like this to go to a dual reservoir. We're trying to do it the right way here and bench bleeding this, or as my wife would call it, bench bleeding it. <laughs> this is half inch 20 and this one is 9 16 20. And honestly, this is the second master cylinder I've ever done this to. I've always just installed them dry and it's worked, but this does help get the air pockets out. It'll save you some headache, so we'll do it. And it basically circulates brake fluid through all the passages until all the air bubbles are out. So every time you pump that, it's pushing air out of the system. And we're gonna keep doing it until there's no air bubbles left. Okay, I had to take over here, but I think we got all the bubbles out. I'm just gonna leave those lines on there until we get it all hooked up so we don't lose our fluid. Let's see if our alternator bracket works. It'd be nice to not have it hanging here by one dinky doodle bolt. I shouldn't have had to do that. There you go. Why'd you do that? Put the bracket on there? Yeah. So it doesn't so it's break. Not hanging out on a prayer. Woo! <laughs> 
gives it a way to brace that thing so you don't snap that bolt out of the cylinder head and i like how it puts the alternator down low instead of up high like i had it this bracket if you put it where this bolt hole is which is where it's supposed to go it won't adjust out enough to get the main charging set off the cylinder head it needs to be at least there and with this bracket there's no way for it to do it so really to have any adjustability i need to lengthen this like at least probably three inches longer i wonder why that is i just have too big of an alternator on there or something well it's been an hour so we're back out here at our tank we're gonna dump it out rinse it out and you gotta let it dry again before you do the next step so let's see what pours out of here now oh, oh wow that's so black and dirty brown wow that's crazy for real i can't believe how much stuff even after we rinsed it out like that oh look at that, look at that. Man, there's still that much junk in there? Ew. That's still brown. I'm supposed to do this till it runs completely clear. I think that's about as clear as we're gonna get it running out of there. We've rinsed it out about four or five times now, so we gotta let this dry and then we'll do the next step. Good enough for what? Who it's for and what they're paying. Am I right? Knee slappers. Woo, woo, woo. Back to our alternator here. It looks like that that sits just behind where it needs to. If you see what I'm saying, it looks like it's going to sit here instead of here. So I think I'm going to weld a piece of plate on top of this. That way the spacing will be correct. We'll add a three or four inch piece onto there and hopefully that'll work. That's too thin. Hey, there we go. That's just about perfect. This thing's got a little bit of a curve to it. Not anymore. Oh, golly. I thought it was Pearl Harbor for a minute. That's a close one. Well, there's what we came up with. It already had a hole in this thing, so I welded it up. Welded the hole that was in that chrome bracket and welded both ends. That ought to be strong enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and re-chrome plate this. And while we're in here, Mortsky was so harsh with me in the comments on the last video that I actually went out and bought a molded lower hose for this thing and also the correct upper hose so uh, his blood pressure can go down. And remember, it doesn't matter if you make it in the pan as long as you tried to make it in the pan. That's what really counts. Oh yeah, we got half of it in there. That's not bad. I actually think our belt is gonna hit that flexy one if we left it on there anyway. So we'll save that for later though. I mean, just cause they've chewed on it doesn't mean it doesn't still work. Well, I must've bought the cut to fit model. There we go. I think it's gonna work. The belt is clearing our hose now and we have adjustment and all that. Only problem is our belt's way too long. So I'm gonna have to find a belt around here or get one when I go back to pick up my drums one to two. Rocky, do you know if we got a belt? Rocky, do you know if we got a belt just a little shorter than this in here? maybe <laughs> well despite well despite me and rocky's best efforts we can't find one in here in the spare parts so i guess i'm gonna have to get one you're crybaby today <laughs> well since rocky doesn't have the correct size belt i'm gonna get underneath here and get our lines loose that go up to our master cylinder because we're gonna have to change this up a little bit don't break on me we're gonna have to reroute these differently. This is set up where it all comes in one line and then goes out to all four corners here. And we're gonna have to redo that to where it's split up separately. Well, that was a miracle. We were able to get all those lines loose without breaking anything. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing. I got that little thing cleaned up pretty good. It actually surprised me. So I think what we're gonna do, so this is the right front, this is the left front. So I think I'm gonna bring one line down into this and we'll split it off to the two front ones. And then I think I'm just gonna make a new rear line and just take this one out completely. Cause if you get back here, I mean, it's a wreck anyway. Probably gonna leak on us at some point. So I'll probably make that line brand new and use the existing front two and split off i guess the extra port i may end up putting the brake light switch in there or we'll plug it off let's get to making some brake lines
So we took a break and ran to town to get these drums. As you can see, they're not the best, but they're better than they were. This one doesn't look that bad at all, but some of them got some pretty deep grooves. And I told them, I was like, hey, I just need you to do what you can. Went ahead and got a belt that hopefully is gonna work and some fittings to do our brake light switch. Got one set of brake shoes, but the other one's supposed to be here tomorrow. And this guy taught me in the Taco Bell again. Yeah. So you always wonder what Sweezy's doing while we're working. She's been painting, got a little paint everywhere. <laughs> And you painted more on your arms. Good job. All right. What in the pot county are you doing? <laughs> well, I just had to make it work with what I had. So I need to retain my brake light switch, obviously, since our new master cylinder doesn't have provisions for it. I'm taking the spot in the distribution block that used to go to the rear brakes and putting it to the brake light switch now. And I had to get some fittings to make that work at a release. So while Wawa's working on putting the belt on this thing and swapping out the upper hose, I'll show you one more time how to do brake lines for you newbies. You cut the line with this right here, this little rolly guy. It's got a little wheel in there that's sharp. Turn it a couple times, tighten it. Turn it a couple times. That's how you cut it. Okay. Well, that one fits a little bit better. The other one I think was for a Fairmont. So once you cut your line, you put it in here and you get your little die and it's supposed to be the same height as that. Once you tighten that down, you put your die inside the brake line like this. Then you take this guy, put it over the top of it and press it down until it stops. Like this right here. So then after you take that back off, you pull your die out of here. Then you put the same tool back on there and press it down until it stops. And that is a double flare. <laughs> What in the world did you do? I dropped the die down inside the fender. Oh no. And now we're kind of dead in the water until we find it. I just hope it'll fall out of here. Well, this junk come out. Oh, there it was. It fell out. Yay. What are you doing? Look, it's drummed chrome. Is oh. it full of water or air? <laughs> water. <laughs> This line here goes all the way back to the back of the car brand new. The other line goes down to the distribution block, which splits out three ways. The one way goes this new line to our brake light switch. The other one is the two factory ones that go over to the right front brakes and the left front brakes. That's what we got done there. I just got to make my two new lines on the rear axle and we'll have our brake lines done, right? Woo! Woo! Checking the transmission fluid level. Helping out. Did you get it to break loose? Yeah. It's still gonna like come out of this. If it does, you just put that back on there real quick. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Oh, yep. It's done. Oh, okay, it's okay. Yep. Cool? yep. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It won't, it, it won't. Panic, panic. <laughs> I can't see. How's she full? I don't know. That's incredible. It's a lot of oil on it. Looks like it's been leaking. Could be Earl. Thank you. All right. Got the new lines here. I just got to hook up this wheel cylinder when we tear this down. We got our new shoes for the rear. I guess I'm going to go ahead and put them on, but 90% of our brake lines now are brand new. The only ones that are not are the ones that go to the sides and the front, which front brakes, who cares about that, right? Yeah. This is all the line I had left after making all them. That's crazy. I had, what, one foot left? Gotta buy some more of that. Time to get our brake hardware out of here. I've been running on and off throughout the day. Oh, wow. Look how nice they look. That's incredible. Wow. Looks like brand new metal. Yeah. It's crazy. That thing works awesome. Yes, it does. Go get you one, vvor.com. Go ahead and clean our backing plate off here. Try to get that junk off. You were dirty. Yeah, it was. I don't know if we have enough stuff to do the emergency brake. We don't need no emergency brake where we're going. Exactly. We got four gears while well, we need a parking brake. Best I can tell without having any reference point for the front brakes is that it used the same springs front and rear on everything except for these guys. I think these guys were only used in the front. And then of course the e-brake bar and stuff was only used in the rear. But all the other springs seem to be the same. It looks like the only casualties we had, now we had to rip these off of here a couple years ago. This spring right here, the end is broke off of it. So that's a casualty. The little washers that hold the shoes on you know a bunch of them got ripped and broke so all these are trash which luckily we have some new ones that we've saved from other hardware kits so i think we have enough to do it the only thing we're missing is we don't have all the pieces for the e-brake stuff well 
looks like it's not going to matter about the e-brake stuff because it's all completely jammed up. Maybe one day we'll get that fixed, but it ain't going to be in this video. We'll let the penetrating oil do its job. I dug around and found a brand new one in our rando kit. I have no idea what I bought that for, but it looks like it's going to fit this. We were hard on a bunch of pieces here. <laughs> you can see we're going to have to straighten out a bunch of this stuff. Well, the drums barely came off. I know, right? Yeah. It's our other anvil here. <laughs> You making another flower thing wall off? Yeah. So what did we learn before about brake shoes? Where's the long one go? Towards the, the front. The back or the front? The, the front. This way. Y'all all failed. Wall wall side. Come on, brake shoes are like school pictures. They go in the back. The long the ones in the back. In the back yeah. yeah, that's how you remember it. Look how grippy these things are, feel that. Oh wow. I really can't believe that we still have this hardware. We took it, it off in the middle of the yard yes. a couple years ago and then threw it in the back of the in car. In the sweltering heat, if you'll remember. And yes. Yeah, it was hotter than Tanya Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did it with a Tanya Tucker. Bad. <laughs> we're only missing one of these nails right here. I think that's the only thing we're missing. I think I see some of those nails in that bucket. Yeah, we'll, we'll find one. We'll, we'll make it if we have to do it. So you put the little nail through, you put your spring, and then you put your little washer do here. And you can do it with like needle nose pliers and stuff. I like using this tool right here. Make sure you have them in line. Push it on there, give it half a turn, let go. Your shoes are on okay. there. And these self adjusters are directional. So this is for a left. They're threaded opposite. A left one is right hand threads. The right one is left hand threads. So don't get that mixed up either. I love this tool right here. It makes putting the springs on so much easier. That looked easy peasy. It's all installed. Everything's in there. This is how it goes. And the only thing missing is that emergency brake stuff. Well, that's the basics of almost every drum brake system. That's how it hooks up. Ooh, I like this. Look how groovy that thing is, huh? So what oh, causes that, wah, wah right. is these brake shoes, a lot of older ones are put on with rivets. If you wear them down till they get to the rivets, like my father-in-law, and just keep going, keep going, it cuts grooves into the drums, then you've ruined your drums. But since I don't have a source for them, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back on. So see, that's way too loose. You hear it's not rubbing nothing? I always go in here and adjust them until they're just got a little bit of drag to them. See where it's just starting to drag? Yeah. That's usually where I set them. Same thing, just the other side. There you go. They're not too bad once you get the hang of them, you just kind of know how they go together. First time, it's kind of a pain. But it's already like after eight o'clock, which is- The end point. We got to call it quits at some point. We got to watch a little Jeopardy. Yeah. So we're going to get out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully with some more parts. He's out. I'm up before everybody else this morning. Thought I'd go ahead and put the next step into this gas tank. So this is the rust blaster. You're supposed to just pour it in straight. You cap it off again, slosh it around every five minutes to make sure you coat every side of the tank in here. And you do this for 30 minutes to an hour and then rinse it out clean. Ralphie finally woke up. He, <laughs> his eyes are barely open. You ready to see what comes out of this gas tank? Yeah. It's been about an hour since I started this process. It's already been leaking out some. It says this stuff is biodegradable, which is surprising. Let's see what color this is. So this is supposed to etch the metal and I guess stop it from rusting anymore and it turns the rust black. Kind of like that, uh, that Osfo stuff we use. Ooh. That's weird. I don't see a bunch of trash in it though. Maybe we finally get all this trash out. So now we got to rinse this out once again until it's clear and let it dry. Yeah. To me, I consider that clear. That's pretty clear. Yeah. This thing's going to be brand new, Ralphie. For real. Let's dry this thing out. I got this thing on the blow mode. <laughs> that ought to help things. Two hours later. Thanks, hot. I appreciate you letting me borrow your vacuum there. 
hopefully this thing has dried out now. It does look like the rust spots look black and the rest of it looks gray. I guess now I need to weld this filler neck on it. Welding on a gas tank. What could go wrong? Do you have one that size in the barn? I think that's it. What do you think? Yeah. All right, let's go weld this gas tank. That's like an exact fit, isn't it? It may be a little long. I'm not sure, but it connects to a hose, so we should be all right. Hope for the best. What are you backing up for? Hey, my mom didn't raise no food. Well, there we go. A little scary at first. That is the first used gas tank I've ever welded on. Looks like it did pretty good. Well, you got some baked taters on there. <laughs> On to the final step with this gas tank. This is the tank sealer, and it's the opposite of James Bond. You stir it, not shake it, okay? You pour it in there, and this is supposed to seal up even like pinholes and stuff. It doesn't come apart with gasoline or any sort of solvent, so once it's there, it's there. You can't really get it off there. Ooh, it's thick in the bottom. Ooh, it looks like thick. metallic paint. You got the can? You got it? Yeah. As he drops it. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have any more problems with pinholes or dirt. It says you can't save it, so we just gotta put it all in there. That's Does this weird. not seem weird to put like metallic paint inside of a yes. gas tank like that? Do like cars and cameras and strap it to a tractor or something and drive around? Yeah. So I really wanna make sure the bottom is coated because that's where it's probably most likely to have pinholes. Not that we've seen any leaks though. No. So guys, don't give up on your gas tank. If you think it's junk, maybe you can fix it like we did. We had no other option. Let's see what's left in here. Nothing? Wow, I guess it's stuck, huh? Well now, we've gotta let this dry for four days. So that's what she looks like in there right now with it all wet. It appeared to me in a dream last night. I remembered that our wires to reach our brake light switch were not long enough. So we're gonna have to lengthen these. And what we're gonna use is our solder stick. Now you've seen us use this in recent videos and we really like the product. If you wanna get some for yourself, go to solderstick.com, use code JOSH20 to get 20% off your order. And basically, instead of having to crimp it, all you have to do is strip your wire back, just like you were getting ready to crimp something. Instead, you just slide these connectors over, heat them up with a heat gun, and at 130 degrees Celsius, this solder melts. Also, it has these rings in here of adhesive, so it's waterproof. It's really simple. The way you use it with a heat gun, I'll show you. Put your wire you're wanting to connect, Hit it, Ralphie. So check them out, solderstick.com. Use code Josh20 for 20% off. What have you guys found? We found them at Umi's house. Mimi found kittens at her house? Yes. Oh my gosh. I climbed up in her attic and I could hear them. I couldn't see them, so we had to cut a hole and like... Rescue them. We had to cut a hole and rescue them. Look oh at these God. little critters. Now, Mimi, you could just keep them at your house and have you a whole mess of cats. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> even <laughs> she don't like cats. <laughs> look, this is what Jamal looked like right here. Exactly what That's he That's exactly like. how Jamal looked when we got him. Listen, I've been taking full responsibility for these things. Full responsibility. Full responsibility. Uh, yeah, you heard it here first, folks. That spotty one's cute. Mama likes the spotty ones. I do like the spotty ones. Let's get back to wiring. Enough kittens. Now we got enough length to plug into our pressure switch there, which turns on our brake lights. I just got off the phone with O'Reilly's and our front brake shoes are supposed to be there. So we're gonna go to town and get that and we'll be right back. Pray for us, mom's driving, drinking a rock star. All right, we got them. We ready to go? Ready to go. These are wider than the other ones. They're three inches wide. Yeah, they're getting milk for the cat. Can you believe it? Wawa's a single mother now. She yeah, got to take care of them kids. I take care of all five kittens. I feed them every two hours. About a dollar for every time we've had to go to town to get <laughs> milk for some baby. Me and dad have been looking through this book here that a fan sent us. Best we can tell, it should go together like this right here. I don't know what this spring was for. This big long spring. The only thing we can see like that is if it had non-adjusting brakes, like not self-adjusting. So I guess I'm going to leave this long spring out of the deal. Put it together the way it shows here because that's what the book says, right? Yeah. See? You heard it here first, folks. Yes. Dad knows best. <laughs> Should be that. 61 to 64, self-adjusting. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. 
Well, I'm gonna go do the other side. When you get that all cleaned up and grease those bearings, we'll put this back together. Good deal. That grease is older than you. Hmm, incredible. It's like crunchy. A little. So we have scrounged around enough pieces, I believe, to finish this off. The only thing we're missing is the anchor pin plate, which is a little bird shaped thing that goes behind all this to hold, keep the shoes back. But I guess we're gonna have to find one of them somewhere in the future, but we're gonna let the rough end drag for now. All right, there we go. Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> Make sure we get all this junk out of there. You don't want any grit at all. Kind of scoop the grease into the bearing, trying to get in all them little rollers there, okay? I'd rather have too much than not enough. No grease on the inside of the drum, just down there. Okay. There you go. Perfect. So we got our cheap little eBay seal and race driver here. These are not very expensive. It's a good thing to buy if you're doing a lot of stuff like this. So that's way too loose. I'm gonna do the oh, same Lord. thing we did at the back. You can leave it on and adjust it. You could do that. I just like doing it this way. It's easier to me. Give her, give her all the clicks. So you just have it's to- It's really take, loose, wasn't it? Yeah, take it off one time and I'll be done. <laughs> That's about right, don't you think? Yeah. Bloop, push it in there. Nope, yep. So now you put the little flat retainer washer thing and then you put the nut and then the cage and then the cotter pin. So how do you adjust this spindle nut, Ralphie? So you tighten it till it like stops and then you back it off, Yeah, right? tighten it up and then back it off just a little bit and then you're good to go. Bend the pin around and she ain't going nowhere. Put your dust cap on and you're completely done. So since this was the last corner I did, I basically had the least amount of parts. So we got a brand new adjuster I had in the box, a new self-adjuster cable, and this guide that goes in and all four springs are new. So yeah, this one got the most new parts. I think we got the brakes together, don't we? Whoop, whoop. Yeah. She gotta bleed them? Finally. Whoop. It's been so long owning this thing and not having brakes on it. Hey, we don't know what to do with it we now. We do not know what to do at all. You're right. <laughs> what a genius. That's a five head high That's five right there. Well, once you get there and pump the brakes, I'll mm -hmm. start bleeding. You usually want to start from the farthest point from the master cylinder, so it's going to be right rear. Ooh, silent but deadly, wasn't it? Ooh, oh, we've already got fluid. Wow. That's easy. <laughs> I saw that hit the ground. <laughs> This feels a lot. It's finally coming back up on its own. You see any brake fluid leaks up front or anything? I mean, I don't see it coming, like, driven from the drums or anything. So. We're getting straight fluid. The pedal's getting harder to push. Well, I think that's a good thing. Can yeah. I hold it down? That was a lot. That was like a stomach virus seventh grade, wasn't it? <laughs> Not bad. We got a decent pedal now. For the first time? <laughs> first time in probably 30 years, yeah. Probably. We have ran out of time again. A lot of this today was really time consuming. A lot of behind the scenes stuff, doing things. We will see you guys tomorrow. I just got a couple more things to do and this thing will be completely done. They root around in there, don't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tonight we're watching Willow, Mom's Choice. Okay, let's go. Come on, baby. About a deer. Goodness gracious. Ooh. <laughs> Easy. Come on. Come on. Next day, we're back on it. When we're at the parts store, I got this $8 battery tray, and I'm going to screw it down on top of that rusted out one there. So hopefully, we won't sling our battery out. I also got this battery hold down deal here. It's like a universal one. I think I got the same one, the Super Coupe, but that should help as well. I went ahead and topped off the coolant this morning, so we should be good there. These screws are about four times as long as they should be. It's just all I had sitting around here, you know? Oops. This time. Oops. This time. There we go.
Oops. Well, I got three of them in and dropped one and couldn't find it. So looks like three is going to be perfect number on this. This is kind of rubbery, so it'll fit different batteries. I'm going to have to cut these studs off, but we shouldn't have any more encounters with the fan with this, at least. That poor fan's been through a lot, you know. I don't know how in the world this got broke off the frame. Definitely wasn't me. But we're going to have to do a bunch of grinding. Once we get it all ground down, I'm going to have to put some pressure under here to get that to slide back and weld it in place. So I'm just going to use my cheapy Harbor Freight die grinder with some 36 grit roll lock disc and the belt sander. And we should get it cleaned up here pretty shortly. Well, we got it ground down pretty good there. I tried to bevel the edge back. Now I'm going to air this up with our air jack here from Vivor and see if we can get that to go back where it belongs without knocking the car off the lift. Oh, I need to straighten that shackle out. Probably don't know. Yeah, like that right there. All right, squint your eyes. Well, there you go. I got my loaded bake taters on there. I welded every side of it. We probably shouldn't look at that side though. Hopefully that'll hold as much rust as in that crack. I gotta think that happened a long time ago. I mean, you just don't get that much rust in your crack in a few days, you know? I don't know how this shock just fell off the car, but it did. We got these new ones here and hopefully they will bolt right up to that. I don't have no overload springs like the JC Whitney one over there, but I prefer my cars to be low anyway. We'll see how it looks without them. Fun fact, back when I had my Starlet, that was the only rear suspension it had was overload springs. Hey, we went 590s on it though. Warning, contents under pressure. Gracious. Oh, just when you thought it was done. I can't remember last time I put new shocks on something. So here's what we're swapping out for. I don't know why they had the overloads on. Every car I bought from this place had overloads on. The Falcon did, the other Galaxy did. I don't know why. Here's what, what was left of the bushings. Look at that nut right there. So getting all new bushings and stuff, this ought to help a bunch. I'll keep that spring around. We might can use that. Well, there we go. I think we got the whole rear end buttoned up, but we still have to do our exhaust, but we can't wait any longer. We gotta see these hoops on there, don't we? Yeah. Let's see if they'll fit. See if I did my measuring right. So we bought black lug nuts. Cause that's the only thing they had at O'Reilly's. And I was like, I'm not putting black lug nuts on this car. I painted them. So Wah painted them for me. Yeah. These are pretty wide. I don't know. We'll just plop right on there. Give <laughs> me a top fit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What? I might have to air them down just to get them in there. Why don't you get the valve core tool? We'll touch the air. That's unfortunate. <laughs> They're big boys. Uh. <laughs> Get your nose blown. No, 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 no. <laughs> she takes oh it back. Air out. Let's get them on the car. We might have to roll that fender out. Once it gets up in there, it could fit. There we go. I think it's going to look so good once it sits down. Well, they shamed me into painting the drum black, so it looks a little better. Try not to rub all the paint off there. Oh, there you no. go. Definitely looks better. It's still sitting a little high, but it may settle. Let me jounce it. Jounce, jounce it. I think that helped. You gonna stay down some? Uh, I think it helped a little bit. Good. Hey, she could scoot on down there, but it's better than what it was. It kind of has that drag car look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I like it. We'll drive it and see how it looks. We may end up lowering it a little bit more, especially in the front. If you're a video skip arounder, I'll go ahead and let you know. These are 15 by four and a half rocket racing launchers. And this is a 18565. These are rocket racing injector yeah. hoops. And these are 255 6015. The option on this is even front and back. 
It's like split out down the center. Fits in the wheel tub real nice. Looks big, but we shouldn't have trouble with it running. Man, that looks so good. I really like that look. That looks really good. I can't wait to get it out of here. All right, let's get this exhaust done. It saves your bag, don't it? Yeah, it'd be hard to do it without the lift for sure. Here's our mufflers and our exhaust tips. Look at that, even got well. stainless exhaust tips, stainless mufflers. So this is a Flowmaster tip and it's probably gonna end up somewhere in here, I would say. Kind of like the other Galaxy was. These are TIG welded stainless, straight through design. I see you in there. So they're designed to have aggressive sound at open, wide open throttle, but kind of quiet and down at idle. Hopefully we can like actually drive it without getting pulled over or something, you know? I mean, this is Merca, but they still got some rules here. So if you remember from the last video, these headers are actually designed for like a Mustang or Fairlane, I believe. They kind of run into our cross member here, which we weren't planning on running three inch exhaust anyway. So I'm planning on welding these in here so we can clear our cross member. The hooker mufflers are probably gonna go somewhere like this and then we'll 45 it off to the frame rail with our exhaust tips. We'll put a couple hangers in here. This is a Flowmaster You Build It exhaust kit and this is the third car we've used this kit on. It comes with a bunch of 90s and 45s and 120s and stuff so this is probably gonna be the last car we're able to do with it but we did three cars 24 okay 23. i'm going ahead and finish welding all these on the ground because it's gonna be real hard to do it from the top once it's up there I like that exhaust tip on there. Looks good, don't it? We just got it barely tacked in place. So you can see it goes from three inch down to two and a half. We got a 24 inch section, hooker mufflers. So we got a 45 degree here. It's actually been cut on. So we're gonna have to cut the other one to match it. But it comes out nice here with our terribly destroyed rocker. We're gonna have to get some hangers on there now. Ralphie wanna try his hand at it. Woo! What setting is this on? Like, do I need a whole Oh, the donkey. This shouldn't blow through on you. Okay. You're staying still too long. Keep moving. That's good, you did good there. Just left and right a little bit. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. Is it dimes or baked taters? You judge. Dimes or baked taters? Well, this is dimes over here. You it's, did that? Yeah, it's my well. What? Bit. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I was going to say, when did you learn how to do that? <laughs> that's not. Okay, okay. You did good. You did good. It'll hold. Yeah, it did pretty good. Huh. All right, good job, bud. You did the whole thing. Woo! Woo! You got your hell on? Yeah. All right, tell me if it shot you. Hey! That was not nice. What? Not nice at all. What? I'm gonna stop helping you. <laughs> it's a good way to eat her. You're okay. You're okay. I think we got it, guys. Looks pretty good. It's, it's basically the same exhaust system we put on the F100. Yeah. Go back to weed eating. Hey. Nope. All right. I'm gonna take you out. We're gonna give her a rip. We're gonna see if she'll back out of here. Love it. Probably look a little lower sitting down, like on the ground. Yeah. The air too. All right. Man, this has been a long time coming. Over 30 years in the junkyard, two years on and off of us working on this thing to finally get it to where maybe we can finally drive it with brakes, huh? Yeah. We got two fire extinguishers in here, so that's a good thing. All right, let's see how she does. Do we have a brake pedal still? Yes, we do. It's quieter. Yeah. It's bearable to be in here now. We can actually yeah. talk a little bit. Yeah. I gotta hold my door shut because the lights don't work.
crazy loud, don't hurt my ears, but it still sounds good. I like it. Yep. Man, it's nice to have brakes. Does it feel okay? Yeah, it feels good. It is so much quieter sitting here idling for sure. But it's it sounds loud when you rev it, you know? Yeah, it's still hitting a lick. Yeah, it's still hitting a lick too, yeah. Man, that looks so much better. Golly, what a cool car. <laughs> I love the hoops on it. It just makes it look mean, doesn't it? Wow, it's so nice to have this thing usable now after so many years of it not being able to be drove. You think she's ready for a test drive? Put it on the road for the first time in 30 years? Yeah, yeah. Well, at least we can see our mufflers and exhaust in the back. That's always a good thing. Yeah. All right, here we go. We've never been out of first gear in this thing. I think our throwout bearing is making a noise, which is kind of scary. What's the throwout bearing? The thing we just replaced here. It stops squeaking when I push it in. Let's see if second and third work. Here we go. Second. Unfortunately, Mike is out of town working, okay? <laughs> so, I guess you'll have to see it when he gets back. Let's get it out on the road again. I just can't help but smile. This is a good 
good scenario. If I can take off in second here, we'll be all right. Do you not want to get Will not going way? first, Daddy? What? Will not going first? No, that's what I'm telling you. Won't do anything. times huh yeah, found new problems and it's overheating right now it's unfortunate you know happens sometimes but we that, still drove it sometimes that happens huh yeah. it's not always a fairy tale <laughs> it's real life around here yeah i don't see it leaking anything so hopefully it's all sealed up i hope it may have an air pocket in the cooling system because we didn't we didn't like run it till it got up to temperature and add coolant and stuff i don't want to pull the cap right now and see but i bet it's got an air pocket probably in it that or the fan shroud, one of the two. It needs a fan shroud. Well, it's super windy out here. We got our new mics on that a fan sent us. Hopefully, we don't have too much wind noise today. We had some success and we had some failures, you know? Scooter's dying for some Vainas today. I'd say that the cooling thing is not a big deal. Transmission thing could be a big deal. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Are you struggling there, Ralphie? <laughs> I gave up on it. Okay. We had a lot of fun with this thing. I have been dying to get brakes on it forever because it's so hard to move without brakes. Uh, it's, it's just impossible. It was a little bit easier once we got the clutch working to move it, but before that, man, this thing about killed us several times. Oh, thank you. What do you guys think about how it looks? You like the new hoops? Oh, yeah, yeah it looks great. Yeah? Yeah. I like how you can hear yourself Impeccable. thinking while you're driving now. It sounded really good before, but it was super loud, so. Like. Exactly like that. We had a little bit of noise I heard coming from the rear axle. A little bit of throw out bearing noise. I'm not sure what's up. Maybe that might be an adjustment that we need to do. I'm not sure. Did you just pour one out for your homies? Ah, uh, I forgot to pour one. I guess I'm going to pour it out now, huh? Look, the old finger pour. You don't see that often. Big thank you to Holly for helping us out with this project. We really appreciate their help with the exhaust stuff and the hoops on this thing. We got to get some floor pans in. That's probably the next thing we really got to do. It really needs floor pans. It really needs interior. So that's probably going to be next on our list. Here you go. You ready, Scooty? Oh, he bit my finger. <laughs> Golly, he's, he's as bad as you, Ralphie. So you guys really like it? You like yeah, it? Yeah, it looks yeah. great. I'm glad it turned out this way. We need to fix this door latch behind us. We got to get the back doors open. So we got some things to do. Before we ever do the floors, we got to get all the doors working. Unfortunately, there's really nobody that sells the door latches that I can find. So that's a problem. Thank you to Solder Stick for helping us out with this video as well. If you go to solderstick.com and use code Josh20, you'll get 20% off your order. Future videos, we got to get the engine built for the RV. And we got to get floor pans in the RV. We have basically grown out of time now on getting this thing done. We're trying our best to go on a trip this summer in it, but it's going to be tight. We yeah. got a lot to do still. We're going to do our best, so we're trying to get as much RV stuff done as we can. So we got to get back on that. I want to get the plumbing done on the Fairmont Futura big block car. And we got a special project we got to get on, don't we, Wawa? <laughs> the eyebrows that come out. I'm sorry, Scooter. Here you go. Oh, man, he's a jumper, isn't he? But you can check out our second channel at Sleep Super Dude 2. 
You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. You can buy our merchandise down below. It'll take you to the website. You can buy it. I don't have the merch here. They have it there. So you got to go buy it there to get it where you live. That's how it works. Yeah. You keep watching the videos. We'll keep making them. That's the deal we agreed to. Thank you to everybody who watches our videos. Thank you to our subscribers, everybody that comments, all the super thanks and members. We appreciate all that. It really helps. I wouldn't have the job I have without help from people like you. You do a lot for us and allow us to live the way we live, and uh, we really appreciate it. How's your wife doing? There you, you go. Wives? Yeah, yeah, hey, Rocky Jr. Uh, we didn't leave you out. There you go, buddy. Rocky, we really appreciate your help with this project. We really do. <laughs> Her daddy licked it off for you. It's disgusting. Get close up on that. There you go. Oh, she's got calmer. When I was young, was hot. When I was young, was hot. Bye. The last melon. Granny, you missed out. You didn't even get a phone sniff in. There you go. Give it a sniff. It's still a phone. Nothing has changed. Hey, Granny Junior. She got the half ear mod. Granny's got no ears. She got the half ear mod over here. <laughs> Bye. Ralph is gonna ride a donkey. It's gonna happen. Oh, there you go. What's that? When good pets go bad, right here. You better hold on if you do it. Jump and go, bro. <laughs> You're delaying way too much. Yeah, yeah just do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still over there kicking. Look, she's gonna roll around. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's Wait, funny. Look at your shirt. Oh, you're so dirty. We need to show on the baby calf yeah, before they go. The baby. Look at this baby. So this is not our baby. This is our nephew's, and he has bought it. And Tasha's bottle feeding it here. If you're wondering what's going on with it, there's the update on the baby calf. Hey, baby. It's she almost does. bottle time. She knows. She knows it's bottle time. She's going to latch onto your finger. What is it? What is it? It's a phone. Well, it was an air pocket. It looks like a big one. And all the little kittens are still doing okay.